Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, my name is Audrey and we're going to be talking about my top my top five products from ColourPop. If you're new here today, I would love for you to subscribe, stick around. I do videos about beauty, comics, and vlogs, and I would love for you to stick around and join me again. Now, ColourPop is a brand that's been very hit or miss for me in the past. When it first started, I was I did purchase from ColourPop back kind of in the beginning. Um, right around before they released any pressed powder shadows, so a while ago, since now they're kind of known for their eyeshadows. But then I had like a bad experience with them. I stopped purchasing from ColourPop for a while. They started selling an Ulta Beauty, and I got back on the ColourPop train. Not everything I've tried from ColourPop has been great, and one of the actual favorites I'm going to mention is going to have a caveat to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my top five. These are in no particular order. Um, so let's get started. First one I want to mention is the Ultra Glossy Lip. I have two shades. Today I'm wearing the color Beignet. I'm pretty sure this has been discontinued, but this is just a pink. Um, I'm wearing it on top of the lip liner that I will talk about in a second. And I also have this clear white one called Adagirl. I love the Ultra Glossy Lip Formula. It feels so nice and luxurious on your lips. It is a brush tip lip gloss. So they have a little brush like this. And I think it just goes on so nicely. Um, it may take a little bit for the brush to... Uh, kind of kick in once you first get it the brush is a little stiff, but then it'll Smooth itself out. I prefer with a gloss. I prefer the brush tip to the Doe foot applicator. I think it just applies a little bit nicer. I love these. I don't think ColourPop needs to keep Remaking different gloss formulas when this one is already so so good and it's in like the original ColourPop packaging um so I absolutely love, love, love this product. <sighs> Since I mentioned lips already, I will go ahead and show you what other thing I'm wearing on my lips. This is going to be the Lippy Pencils. I have two shades, again, of this. It's kind of funny. I had more of the glossy lips. So this one that I'm wearing today, I'm wearing this one in Shot Clock. This is the first one I got. I love this. I'm going to run through this very, very quickly. This is a sharpening, you will sharpen these. Um, it's not a retractable lip liner, but that means you can get a fine point. It's super creamy, but not overly creamy, so it's gonna last on your lips. I also bought the shade Bossy. This is like a, a pinkish red color. Um, it's actually pretty, pretty red. So I actually wanted to buy it with a, the intention that it was a pink, but it was a red, but it's a really nice red color. So. You can see the shades on the bottom here as well as the lid, um, but the bottom is going to be a little bit more accurate for you. But these are really, really good, and I would absolutely recommend the Lippy Pencils. This is going to be a complexion product. I never would have thought from ColourPop, but here we go. This is the second one I own, so it looks a little bit nicer. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Now, you get a lot of product in this bad boy. You get 1.45 fluid ounces, so nearly one and a half fluid ounces, which is going to be like half a fluid ounce more than you would in a foundation. I am gonna cut away and show you what I what it looks like when I had just applied it this morning. Um, oh my God, it's so glowy, it's so beautiful, and it lasts well in heat. It has pretty light, ish coverage, it's a light medium. However, you can still put stuff on top of it and it still looks really, really good with minimal concealer. So if you're looking for something to wear in the summer and you still want some sort of coverage, I would definitely recommend this. It's super hydrating and very, 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 very good. This is a placeholder for um, a product that I don't currently have. So this is going to be the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. The product I want to mention is the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil. I really like that pencil. I've used about three of them. I'm currently using the Brow Wiz from ABH just because it was part of 
a sale. So I got it then. I really like the ColourPop brow pencil. I've tried a few other drugstore pencils. I think the ColourPop one is the best one that you can have um, from the drugstore if you're shopping at Ulta. So again, ColourPop is a weird brand that it's like it's drugstore pricing, but only sold at Ulta Beauty, not at actual drugstores or online. But if you're placing a ColourPop order, I think the brow pencil is something that's really good to get. It's about five bucks. I also am really loving the Brow Boss gel. Now, this is like a white gel, and I honestly would call it a brow... It's not even like a gel. It's like a brow wax. Now, it's white, but it will rub away. It won't leave white streaks in your brows. So I feel like this works like a glue. Like this will hold your brows, but at the same time they don't feel crunchy. They feel kind of waxy. So I think this is more of a brow wax. Gel is a little bit misleading. I'm really interested to try the ones that are colored. Since this is the clear one, I mean again, I said it's white, but this is the clear one, so I'm really interested to try the other ones. I will definitely uh, test it out after I'm done using the e.l.f. Wow Brow. Last product I'm going to mention has a caveat. Um, they're going to actually be, at several here, uh, the palettes from ColourPop. Now, I have three. I love these three. I've had two, three others in the past. One of which I liked, it was a little duo. It was literally the first press powder shadow that ColourPop put out. I've had some singles. I really like those. I had the ColourPop Villains palette, Disney Villains palette, hated it. Um, a lot of people love it. I had another quad from this, the um, one with Blathers and Celeste, hated it. It wasn't very good. Um, but these are the ones that I really like. So newest is going to be the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls palette. I'm wearing a combination, oh, that just gave a reflect, of all three of my eyes today. So I have um, silico on the, in the crease from this palette. This is the only shade I'm using from this palette today. I have a whole review. Oh, I got it. I have a whole review on the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls Blossom Bundle that I have. In the outer corner from the little quad I have here, I'm wearing Water Landing, which is this deep um, bluish green shade. I like this. I like this quad packaging. I am probably going to get the Astrology quads um, for my sun, moon, and rising. Um, so that would be Sagittarius, sun, Aries, moon, Scorpio, rising. And then this is my favorite ColourPop palette that I actually own. So this is the Child palette. Um, it's a very green palette. You can see it's pretty well loved by me, but today I am wearing this shade, which is called Right Hand Mando. The thing <clears throat> I particularly love about this palette is that there is no pressed glitter. So that's a caveat I have with the palettes is that I don't like the pressed glitter. I am wearing this particular pressed glitter in the inner corner because I feel like out of all the pressed glitters this one is okay but um, pressed glitter is just not for me and I think it's one of ColourPop's worst formulas that I wish they would stop putting in palettes. So we did mention it in my review but we do have this is a pressed glitter and this shade is a pressed glitter. So it's something I wouldn't want to put near my eyes because it always falls into my eyes and blinds me. A couple other products I want to mention that I don't currently have from ColourPop that I love. I, you know, I mentioned the brow pencil. I really like the BFF mascara. I think that's a pretty good mascara. It's pretty similar to L'Oreal Lash Paradise or Too Faced Better Than Sex. I think that's a really good mascara that you can definitely pick up from them. Um, favorite discontinued product that I have to mention today is the Ultra Satin Lip. They discontinued that and that was so sad it was like a liquid lipstick but it wasn't mattifying and I think that's really good. They really need to update 
the ultra matte lip. It's not a good formula. It was created back in the day when we were creating just stuff that lasts. We didn't care about if the formula dried out your lips or not. So ColourPop has a lot of stuff that I think is pretty good. So you can't totally go wrong with it. The only thing I'd say is that some of the palettes are hit or miss just based on the amount of glitter, pressed glitters that are in there. Um, I think their pressed cheek products are okay. They're not great. I am wearing a lot of ColourPop on my face today. So in addition to the products that I mentioned, I am wearing the blush stick, the light stick, a little eye crayon from under my eyes from the Blossom Collection from the uh, Powerpuff Girls, and I am wearing, oh my gosh, the Pretty Fresh Concealer, which I'm not totally loving, but I think it's okay. So I think there's some great products from ColourPop. Overall, I think a lot of their products can be just okay, so there are some things that definitely stand out in the entire brand. So definitely let me know what your thoughts are on your favorite ColourPop products down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Saturday or Friday. <laughs> I will see you on Friday or Saturday with a new video. Bye.